challenged teenagers and quickly spread to our shores. But according to most observers, punk just as quickly faded away. Now the music is called New Wave, and even in Colombia, it has its loyal fans. Greg Crutchers examined this phenomenon for a TV10 close-up report. The fanatics Nick Pagan sings Dream the Impossible Dream, a tongue-in-cheek anthem played loud and fast. The band is performing at a Five Points club called Von Henman's, the only place in Colombia where the kids dance a dance called the Pogo, and the music is called New Wave. It's punk or New Wave or rock and roll. To me, punk is something that died when the sex pistols died. Reach. Reach the sky. This is my quest. Punk is what it's all about, although no one wears safety pins anymore. The movement got a lot of publicity in Britain in the late 70s and now is reportedly dead, along with the Sex Pistols' infamous Sid Vicious. But in clubs like Von Henman's here in Columbia, punk's musical influence lives. Call it new wave or just plain rock and roll, it is harsh, aggressive, loud, and if you call this dancing, then it is extremely danceable. You know, people have been dancing for years, and it's, uh, it's a good social activity for them, really. Uh. It beats disco. Go to a point in your ear. The slide can scratch and you fear. But a golden girl knows what he's It's the kiss of death. High speed, abrasive, and high energy, punks are the antithesis to the laid-back hippies. Nevertheless, the attitude is purely anti-establishment. The only thing I'm really against is apathy. The people that are old and historical and boring. Oh, they're tired. <laughs> they're tired. <laughs> we just came for fun. It's not just a thing out in California. Everybody's good. Watch out. That guy's a Spider-Man. But new wave music is not sweeping the nation. It is significant, however, as a bit of youth culture created as much by the media as by teenage musicians and the kids themselves. Mm -hmm.